Okay, I have to make a follow-up video to the previous one about uh, energy drain while parked. Um, you know, I forgot to point out, point out that that was worst case when you kept the car awake for the longest time. Then it will consume a lot. But of course, I have some other videos uh, from old times. I guess it's been forgotten already, but uh, at least there's a link on it in the description. You can take a look. Um, basically, if everything is done correctly, like you set the car to sleep mode and you don't wake it up, then you will have way better results. But uh, I will come back to that. So let me explain a little bit why the car consumes so much or loses so much range. There are several reasons for that. Uh, if you keep the car awake, uh, it will constantly consume energy to keep these computers alive and also the, the 3G connection alive. So, you know, of course, it's not like a cell phone, it's a freaking car. So yes, it consumes slightly more than that. Uh, but also, okay, some people claim that because it was cold, the car will keep heating up the battery pack. That is not true. Uh, if the car is parked, unless you are in like camper mode or preheating the car with range mode off, then, you know, when the car is parked, it won't consume energy to keep the battery pack warmer. Uh, but there is one thing many of you guys forget that um, every, every lithium ion, every battery pack, every, every battery will discharge. How much it is depends on, I guess, the type and the size, but Keep in mind that uh, the Tesla battery is freaking huge, so don't even compare this to your Volt or your Leaf. It has a tiny battery pack, especially Volt has a tiny pack. So, um, of course, the Tesla will cons I mean, will um, lose more energy in, I mean, I mean percentage-wise, it should be about the same, right? But, um, of course, it loses more because it's, after all, a much bigger battery pack. Um, and the last thing that uh, many of you guys forget is that, you know, I drove a while to get to the to the airport, and uh, during that during that drive, half an hour drive, uh, there is some heat buildup in the battery pack. So you park the car with warm battery, and then after many many days, the battery cools down, and a warm battery will have better capacity than a cold ones. So you actually lose some capacity just by sitting. You know, that that's just how the, the nature of the battery works. So yeah, and. Um, that was it about you know why it loses so much energy that's just how it is and how the heck can you reduce the consumption well there are several ways to do it um you can for instance go to the settings and then uncheck the always connected one and also switch on the saving mode but also if you don't do anything the car will still conserve energy like i showed you in an earlier video uh so you know just don't check don't use the app to wake to keep the car awake you know just leave it there you, you you're on vacation after what are you going to check anywhere right just leave it there and also don't have any apps running at your computer at home over there where we will like which will maybe constantly pull the car for status or logs or whatever just you know shut off that one and then let the car sleep and then you will consume way less energy uh, so I mentioned in the beginning, you know, I have another video which is more more like best case. So the worst case, just to repeat, the worst case was my car. It consumed 15 kilometers per day, or about uh, 3.1 kilowatt hours per day, which is massive, of course. But if you do the right things, uh, like I did with uh, my Model S, the Millennium Falcon, I stayed uh, in Thailand for 28 days, almost a month, and I lost only 20%. And that equals to only two and a half kilometers per day, not 15, only two and a half kilometers uh, or half kilowatt hour per day, you know, not 3.1 or whatever. Yeah, so just check it out. Um, <clears throat> and another question that uh, many people might have is that how long can you keep this car parked? Okay, so if we assume that we can get 80 kilowatt hour from it, Let's say we have a full battery pack, but we're not going to like discharge it all the way to zero. So we, we have like five kilowatt hour left. Then, according to my calculation, you can keep this car parked for 150 days or five months. That is very long. <laughs> like, who the heck would park your Tesla for five months anyway, right? Uh, or maybe like more common uh, common case, if you leave this car for two weeks, then it will consume seven kilowatt hours. Or you lose nine percent, uh, and this is my car, of course, ninety kilowatt hour pack. It's different from the other packs; will have slightly different, but more or less the same. Um, if you leave this car for one month, then you will lose fourteen kilowatt hours, or eighteen percent. It's still like you can still live with that. Just 
you know, do the precautions. Just don't park the car with way too low energy, but you know, you're not gonna lose like all the battery when it's gone. Just do what I say, listen to Uncle Bjorn, don't keep the car away, don't do all that crap like I did. It was just to show you worst case scenario. Yeah, and you know, all this thing, you know, I see also some comments say, oh, well, you know, that makes me don't want to buy electric car or Tesla, you have to do all this crap and it sucks. Well, okay, what about fossil cars? So I tried to dig in some, uh, I tried to Google it and try to find out what happens when fossil cars are parked for too long. Well, uh, if you park the car for too long, you might have some problems. So there is like a list I made of things you should do. So for instance, <coughs> Uh, the fuel, at least in all cars, they tend to evaporate. Especially if you're living in hot climate like, I don't know, Arizona or Asia, Thailand or whatever, you know. Fuel might evaporate from the old cars, but at least the newer cars, they have more sealed system. Um, but also, um, you should try to fill up the tank to full uh, to avoid moisture in the fuel tank, moisture buildup. Yeah, that could also cause some trouble. And also, um, like I mentioned earlier, you know, every battery will self-discharge. Also, the 12 lead acid battery in uh, in your fossil car will self-discharge. And if you wait too long, then you might not be able to start the car. And uh, to explain you some of the basics, an EV is not dependent on this fossil engine and this uh, this generator to uh, to generate the 12 volt because the EV also has a 12 volt battery pack. Uh, lead acid, just like in Tesla, but uh, it has this inverter that will always keep the 12 volt charge. So even even if you leave the car parked, it will still charge the 12 volt. But that is not the case for fossil car. So um, in uh, to avoid that, uh, if you want to like park it over winter, we have really long vacation or something. You should try to start the car every I don't know every weeks uh, every few weeks and then run it just idly for 15 minutes because then the generator will will charge up the 12 volt battery. Yeah. All right. What else uh, can you? Uh, like, what else should you do? Okay. Uh, the engine oil used engine oil has contamination that might damage the engine. So if you want to park it for very long, let's say over winter, you have a classic car, you will park over winter, you should change the oil before winter. Yeah. Or if you, for some reason, want to like, travel somewhere and you want to park the car for, let's say, several months, then you also think, should think about that. Um, and also, um, more problems, more issues. Um, if you will park let's say more than a month or something, then you should also add this fuel stabilizer in your, in your fuel to prevent corrosion in the system and also to prevent the fuel from separating because it's, I don't know what the heck dinosaur juice consists of, but if you, if you stay still too long, then things will start separating and then you will also have problems. And the last thing I picked up was that um, uh, you should also, I guess this is for over winter, not just uh, short holiday trip, but if you want to park it too long then um, You should remove the spark plugs if the car has it and then spray a little bit of oil in the cylinder to avoid rusting and then put the spark plugs back in But you see I'm just pointing out that even fossil cars have their own problems when parking for long distance uh, for a long time As for EVs uh, Tesla. Well, of course uh, you can just charge it up and that's it uh, switch on the, the uh, the energy saving mode then don't wake it up and that's it yeah <laughs> so i don't know haters gonna hate you know you will say that oh tesla bjorn is a tesla fanboy well i'm just pointing out the pros and cons of everything right you you, you can't just look at you know one side of the story here yeah so um all right so i guess that's it for now i hope this was useful for you so bye bye